So this is the tool, it's this board, and on the board is mounted this vice thing for holding the damper head. Two tools for adjusting the wire and a gauge stick which lets me put it against the side of the damper head and that lets me make sure that the damper head has clamped down parallel to the gauge lines, which is the whole point of the tool. I want the gauge lines to tell me parallel to the side of the head. And the back is a mirror which is reading, a mirror which is reading grid lines that are mounted on the belly rail, which tells me just when the, whether the exit from the uh, damper bushing is parallel to those grid lines. Um, so that would get me the two top bends. That would, that would prove to me that the two top bends are correct and proved. Um, so anyway, that's the whole system. What you do is you take a hammer. I'm going to put this over here for a minute. Uh, take, not the hammer, take the damper, set it, clamp it in there, and take the gauge piece and sight whether it's parallel to the um, grid lines, which I can see from my perspective. I don't know if you can see from the camera. That was that this, this side of this, this damper is parallel to these grid lines. And as you can see, the wire is, is pretty parallel to the grid lines. Um, I could just do teeny little adjustment here because I've already adjusted this and I don't want to unadjust it. You know what I mean? So let's see. There we go. That's right on the nose. So that wire now is dead, which where it exits the damper bushing, the damper guide rail bushing is parallel to the side of the head. And that means these these two bends up here are are canceling each other out with the offset. And I'm not going to move that guy, but if I wanted to move it, you could still gauge exactly how much you moved it after doing the two bends. Oops, pardon me. One with this, uh, I think the heart tool you call it, and then the other one with this. So anyway, that's how it works. I'll just take it out. <laughs> 